Good morning. I hope that everybody's doing well. Um, I got up early this morning. I wasn't able to sleep hardly at all last night. Um, I got some things going on in, in, in my mind, in my life. Um, and I'm just waiting to see the outcome of the things that are happening. Um, it's cold out. I'm sitting at the park. I'm not going outside. It's too cold. Uh, it, last night I think it dropped down to 20 degrees or something like that. I try to clean my windshield and the fluid is frozen, so I couldn't do that. So it's cold outside, so I'm not doing a video outside. I'm going to do it in my truck again. So, uh, but uh, I might be heading down to Florida in a couple of days. I'm waiting to hear from a family member down there. And if I head down, it, it, it won't be for any good reason and that's one of the things that's uh consuming my thoughts lately but um you know at least the weather would be a little bit warm so uh you know we'll see how it turns out only the lord knows i want to talk to you guys about something um we see and we see so much in in the media and you know politicians and people just talking about um disinformation misinformation how they try to suppress the truth, how they wanna, you know, they wanna get rid of, you know, X because, you know, Elon Musk is allowing people to speak freely. In my opinion, it's a little too freely because I see some of the things that are on X and uh, today I haven't gone on it at all. I'm, I'm gonna try to stay away from it as much as I could uh, because it's getting to the point where it's a lot of it on it is really, it's really sickening. And I go on there basically mostly for to receive, get some news of what's happening around the world, in particular in Israel and, and, you know, Ukraine and stuff like that. And people put good information on there. And also because there's a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ who I follow and follow me who are on X. And they share a lot of beautiful posts, a lot of beautiful verses. And, you know, they, you know, ask for prayers and things like that. And that's beautiful. And I've told myself, I'm just going to scroll past all the other garbage. But sometimes, you know, the flesh just takes over and you just latch on to some of the garbage that's being posted on there and, and the things that are going on in the world. And I'm not saying that it's lies. Um, there are, there's, there are things, horrific things happening around this world, but, um, you know, too much of it sometimes to our, to our eyes, to our minds, to our hearts can be, uh, you know, affect us uh, uh, adversely. Um, not that it has affected me, but, you know, it can affect us really, really bad if we continue in those things. Um, we spend more time in the Word of God than we are into social media. So I want to I wanna talk about suppression, suppression of truth, you know. If uh, if you're not a believer in Jesus Christ, you know I urge you to you know seek Him as you know as the Word of God says, as Jesus said, you know seek Him what He still may be found. And I believe that's in John, maybe John chapter eight, verse four, nine, verse four, I believe something like that. But anyway, He says seek Him what He still may be found. And for those of you who don't have a relationship with the Lord, with Jesus Christ. I urge you to seek him because the day will come when he will not be found. And I'm going to make it a point that in all my videos, I include that verse. So, you know, they're trying to suppress the truth in society today. You know, the media, the politicians. And what makes me laugh is that even if you have proof, solid proof, even if you have witnesses of the truth, of what happened, what transpired, they still try to suppress it, no matter what. It says they're taking you for a fool and saying, well, what you're seeing and what you're reading, well, reading could be a lie, but what your eyes are seeing, it's, it's not really that. That's that's all fake, you know. They're, they're, what they're showing you, what you're seeing happen in front of you, it's not real, it's fake. And so they, you know, they're trying to suppress the truth at the greatest extent, and sadly, a lot of people are buying into that. And it's nothing new because we read in scripture how so many times, so, so many times throughout scriptures, how, you know, we have people, we see people who are trying to suppress the truth. And the reason I want to post this video is because I want to share with you guys an account where they're trying to suppress the truth. And I'm going to read just a, just a couple of verses. I mean, I think I just have only three or four verses. So I'm currently in the uh, John chapter 12. And in John chapter 12, I want to read verse 9 and 12. And let me give you um, just a little feedback on, you know, information on, on what 
you know, transpired before this. Before this in chapter 11, um, we read about how Jesus resurrected Lazarus, who was sick, from the dead. You know, Lazarus was buried in the tomb four days, and Jesus came forth, you know, he came, and he, you know, resurrected him from the dead. I'm not going to go into the whole account, but it's a beautiful account in chapter 11. Go read it. And then also, if you go read chapter 9, it's another beautiful account how Jesus healed a blind man. So, in John chapter 12, okay, verse 9 through 12, my, I might start at 11. Um, I read, Then a large crowd of the Jews learned he was there, being Jesus. They came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, the one that he had raised from the dead. Therefore, the chief priest decided to kill. Therefore, the chief chief priest decided to kill Lazarus. Also, they also wanted to kill not only Jesus but also Lazarus. Why did they want to kill Lazarus? Because he was the reason many of the Jews were deserting them and believing in Jesus Christ. Okay, they were believing in Jesus. The many of the people, many of the Jews, were believing in Jesus. Because they saw, they witnessed. If you go back to chapter 11, you see how many of them, they witnessed this. But also there were some who ran to the Pharisees and the leaders and told them what was happening. And um, I think I did a video on that yesterday. And you see here how they're worried about, oh, if many people believe in Jesus, you know, they're going to leave us. And we're going to lose, you know, our clout. We're going to lose our standing, our position. You know, people are not going to look to us anymore. They're going to look to Jesus. And so what do they want to do? They wanted to kill Lazarus. They wanted to kill Jesus. And then in verse 17 of that same chapter, we read and it says, Meanwhile, the crowd which had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continue to testify. This is also why the crowd met him, because they heard he had done these signs. They continue to testify. Okay? You see in courts, when you go to court, you know, if you have, you know, you're going to court for a trial, both the prosecutor and the defend defense attorneys, they have witnesses. Okay? People who are going to testify as to what their account is as to what happened. And the judge... If it's there's no jury, but if the judge, if it's only a judge, the judge decides on how the case turns based on the witness accounts. Right here, the witnesses are saying what Jesus did, but the leaders, okay, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the leaders wanted to kill Lazarus, kind of like you know suppress the truth, hide the truth. You know, they felt that if they kill Lazarus and put him away. That, you know, nobody will remember. That the truth will be hidden and won't be seen. And they wanted to kill Jesus' truth. Also because Jesus is the truth, the light, and the way. Okay? He is the truth, the life, and the way. As he tells us. But it's so beautiful how scripture is. Because, you know, man thinks that he can hide things. That he can suppress things. They might be able to do it for a little while. But eventually, the truth is going to come out. It might not come out here on this earth. It might not happen to them right now. But eventually, before the just judge, who is God, who is the Lord himself, the truth is going to be revealed. And we read in Daniel chapter 2, really quick, in verse 22, it tells us that. It tells us, he, being God, reveals the deep and hidden things. He knows what is in dark in the darkness, and light dwells on him, in him. Light dwells in him. He knows what is in darkness. God knows everything. And, you know... If you're doing something that's ungodly, if you think you're getting by with, you know, deceiving somebody, with suppressing the truth, you might get away with it before man. You might get away with it in this world, but you're definitely not going to get away with it when you stand before the just judge, who is God the Father. So, you know, as we see the world, how they're suppressing things, I, I ask you to... You know, when you're reading things, when you're watching things, especially in social media or the news... Use it. You should use a um, a godly lens to see these things, because you know many times they're gonna portray things in a way that's gonna deceive you. And Jesus tells us in Matthew twenty four verse four, the first thing that he tells his disciples when they ask him about the end days, the last times, the sign of his return, and all these. When they ask him about all that, what's his first thing that he says in Matthew twenty four four? Jesus says, "Take heed that you be not deceived." 
take heed that they don't deceive you, that they don't, you know, lie to you, that they don't, you know, pull wool over your eyes as the saying goes nowadays. So be very careful to what you hear and to what you listen to. And again, I want to end with this. If you don't have a relationship with the Lord, seek him while he still may be found because in the word of God is the only place you're going to find truth. Okay. Just as I just punch as Pilate X Jesus, you know, when Jesus says, I am the truth, you know, Pontius Pilate said to him, what is truth? The truth is Jesus Christ and the word of God. And the word of God is the whole scripture from beginning to end. And we read about it and we see Jesus from the very beginning to the very end. And if you want to know godly truth, turn to the word of God. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm just going to ask um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you can kindly do so, um, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this video and share it with other people, if it brought you some uh, some understanding of, of at least a little bit. So anyway, God bless you and pray for me, if you don't mind, please. And uh, have a nice day.